Hello everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Mountain Spring Outdoors. Today, um, part two of my kokanee fishing expedition. We're here, and so I got my rods, my reels, my YouTube stuff. I don't know what that is. My snowsuit, fishing cooler, tackle box, boots, Legos, my suitcase, and then my nets are out on the porch. So I'm going to get some of these assembled, and then um, we're going to probably have dinner stuff. We might go fish tonight. Tonight's Friday night. We have all tomorrow to fish, so we'll see. Okay, guys. Here's all our reels now. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is our rods and reels. Sorry, these are just our rods. Down in there and such, so time to get to work. Hi guys, so it's too dark to go fishing tonight, so I'm just on a scouting mission. Trying to find a good way down to the lake to go fishing. So guys, um, it's late, I'm back from my uh, fish scouting place. Bed. And I'm gonna get to sleep and we're gonna go fishing in the morning. So I'll see you guys then. Hi guys, so it's in the morning now and we are still at the cabin. Got all the rods, got all the tackle, you're ready to go. Um, so, we are now going to get dressed and get fish. Okay, guys, so we're finally here. Ah. And it is time to get all this fishing stuff unloaded and get fishing. Okay guys, so we've been at this spot for a while now. If we don't get a bite in the next few minutes, we're gonna switch spots. Cause I don't wanna have to just sit here. 
watching tips that don't bounce. Okay guys, so we're just cast out there. It's so windy. We're on the other side of those docks over there. What? What? Stop. I get cold. Okay guys, so I just did a perfect shot right there next to the dock. Um, so there's ducks here, so I think they're coming for my bait. I'm hoping that they're not, though. This spot is really windy, though. The wind's just whipping through here, so... This might not be the ideal spot. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We got that rod. We're in a new spot now. Bombed way out. There's even some ducks. There. Cool. Um... I don't know why I didn't, but I should have. I have longer poles that would have casted more weight out farther. I don't know. I, I just wasn't using my brain when I was retying my rigs. I thought it, I had it all figured out. I was all ready to go dock fishing, not shallow bank fishing. Oh my god guys this is not the right time of year to come fishing really probably just a little trout nibbling at it okay guys so Okay guys, so Okay guys, so we're here at the lake and uh well, if you guys can tell but this is pretty rough condition. We have it looks a lot more on the camera but big waves coming at us uh like straight at us. So snow freezing cold. I'm right next to the water. I got one rod out. So hopefully we can catch a fish. So this rod right here, I'm going to give it a little reel, see what's going on. It just got like, wham, wham. fish on the end of this. I'm not sure, but let's check. Okay, guys. This is looking hopeful. We might actually have something. We do it probably got oh, oh, snap. Guys, we've got something. Okay. I need to get the net. Gotta keep tension on it. Gotta keep. Oh, here he is, guys. Here he is. I got something. Okay, guys. Oh, snap. This is a beaut. Okay, guys. Check out this mama. Oh. Holy guacamole. Alright. Well, guys, it's not a kokanee, but it has to be one of the biggest rainbow trout I have ever seen. This is a lunker, guys. Let's get this baby unhooked and cast. 
Okay guys, so I'm not sure what this rod tip right here is doing. It's just bouncing on the bottom. Or if that's a monster fish. Might be worth giving it a reel. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it must just be the bottom. Not a serious. Okay, guys, so huh, we're done fishing with these big waves, this freezing wind, this snow, these sharp rocks. Here, let me show you my setup. The power of bungee cords right there. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, we caught a fish. This is weird. Um, I might get to go fishing again, but no matter what, I will see. Okay, guys, so we're back here at the house now. Um, sorry I didn't film me at the cabin. Turns out we got home uh, back well, back to the cabin, and we had a lot of picking up and stuff to do, so that's that. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. We caught one fish, but considering the conditions and that, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff thrown in that wasn't wanting me to catch a fish. So I'm pretty sure, guys, that that was a steelhead, because uh, the Willow River, which is a non-blocked off river, so steelhead go up and down it, um, runs right through the middle of that lake. Now I think about it, there is a dam. Might have been a steelhead, I don't know. Could have been going up into one of the creeks. Anyway, you saw how much it bent the rod, and that was a big rod. Um, you guys have seen it before, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you next time.